Well, as you know, February is Black History Month, and tonight we're taking a look at one of Harlem's unsung stars. His name is Leonard Harper, and as News 4's Jackie Beckford found out, you could truly call him a Harlem Renaissance man. It was in this stretch of block that the Lafayette Theater was located. A walk down Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard is a stroll through Harlem history for Grant Harper Reed, specifically his family history. That was my way of meeting him by uh, doing the historical research. He was Leonard Harper, Reed's grandfather and the man dubbed father of the cabaret during the Harlem Renaissance. Fred Astaire, Louis Armstrong, and Duke Ellington were just a few of the performers Harper worked with or produced. His dancing chorus line, the Harperettes, performed for royalty in Europe. But in 1920s and 30s clubs in Harlem, they were still viewed as second-class citizens. We could serve food, clean up the toilets, serve the liquor, and be in the shows. But we were not allowed to sit in, in the Cotton Club. Reed says the Harlem Renaissance and performers like his grandfather helped to begin chipping away at stereotypes about blacks. Whites began to enjoy those shows and the part of our culture. With that, we became more three-dimensional as people. City College of New York professor Herb Boyd says the approximately decade-long Harlem Renaissance, which went far outside the neighborhood's borders, fostered a dramatic period of opportunity for blacks. It had a very significant development. It was a little bit different. You had some powerful uh, writers and artists coming out of that time who had platforms and venues that the previous artists did not have. The Ubangi Club Boys was my grandfather's chorus line. To keep the contributions of artists like his grandfather alive, Reed is working to get Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard at 132nd Street named Leonard Harper Way. In Harlem, Checky Beckford, News 4 New York. And Reed says his street naming petition has been approved by the community board, but still must be approved by the city.